Welcome everyone, this is Loli and today we'll be looking at one of my favorite titles for the Game Boy Advance which is Metroid Fusion. I think this game is the perfect choice for everyone who is looking to get into the vibe for the upcoming Halloween. Got you fooled there for a second, haven't I? Welcome back guys, this is Hectoberfest 2023 and of course we will be doing Ox Fatalis stuff as usual. This is day 24 and I'm happy to say that I finally managed to clobber together some stuff to actually show you guys. The progress since day 12 was so slow that I couldn't even manage to fit that amount of progress into a single episode. It's very slow because I can't just show you guys over and over again that I've managed to create yet another map with my cubicle rooms, but basically this is kind of what I did with this one. Okay, first of all, you guys are probably already familiar well enough with this sequencer thing. I've managed to update the code to it and managed to improve it a tiny bit based on Sagittarius's feedback from well over, I guess, a year ago. So let me just take you guys through all the stuff that have been added here. And trust me, this will be cool. This will be interesting. So don't click away. First of all, we have a set of buttons on the side here. which allows you to listen to the samples that are being used in each row without actually having to click on any of these little samples here or buttons and having to wait for the cursor to arrive um, above a specific column. Also, I have added levers for individual rows. So now you can turn on and off individual rows. Check this out. very standard baseline. And let's say you want to disable the drum, the bass drum for a sec. and then dropping the bass again. Yeah, I know it's hideous. Let me just turn these off for a sec. But you guys get the idea. Okay, another thing that I have managed to finally add into the game is the dance floor. Check this out. It's moving, it's danceable, it's very cool, and it changes constantly. You guys don't even want to think think about the time I wasted on trying to make this work. You still cannot add animated textures to the mesh, so what is happening here is that we have a shit ton of entities. Entities just like the buttons, the sword or the lamps on the wall here. Check out these funky lamps that I have managed to find in the game assets. And I have immediately used them because they quite nicely match the texture that I found for the wall here. All right, but you can see that we are inside another room here, and this is the central part of the disco or the club that I'm having here. So we have the dance area or the music producing area, and then we have the central part, the lobby, I guess. And what I have in my mind, if I will ever be able to do that, is to place a bar here along with Tizzy, so that Tizzy could serve us some beer or any other drinks. Okay, and the third part here is the lounge with a nice thick carpet and some lovely chairs here. Interestingly, this armchair is an entity which could be moved around if I would have the script for that, but None of the other furnitures of the game can be moved or copied like so, because everything else have been rendered part of the mesh. Let me just jump quickly into the city and I'll show you guys what I mean. Hmm. You know guys, let me just jump down here 
as I was saying, let me just jump down here and no clip through the wall here and go into Gary's lovely apartment or house. And as you can see, we have some fancy furniture here matching this chair that we added to the lounge area. But you can see that none of the other furnitures here have this blue rectangle around it, meaning it's not an entity, but part of the mesh. So it's like a wall. So we have shelves here, we have a table which cannot be moved, and also we have a couple of other fancy looking shelves here. I would love to make any furniture or room decorated with these, but no, we cannot move it. Another thing I would love to move around is this table that we have between these two chairs. But the only thing we can move is these stools or any sitting apparatus. Yeah, very fancy. Just... Yeah, I, I will probably just scale this up until it looks like a table. Whatever. Okay, so my plans for today is I want to add the stage thingy just below this sequencer panel similarly to what you can see in this image here. We could add the stage like this and we could add instruments on top of it. We don't have drum kits or anything, but we could add Gru with a flute and we could add the lantern guy from the castle and also we could just put a lantern on a stand or something like that. Or just getting a bit closer to that image what I have in my mind. And trust me, this is how uh, something like Lolly's minigame can born out of these seemingly random ideas. Just imagine that you have a certain location in the map and try to fill out the blanks with stuff that can go in there and doesn't look out of space. Out of space, yeah, that reminds me. Uh, I want to add another thing in the future, which is the restrooms. But for now, what I have here is this dark corridor that doesn't really go anywhere, because, yeah. For what I want to do today is just focusing on creating that stage. We have 3JS here, and we can... Can, can I zoom in here? Can I... Can, can I please? Of course not. Anyways, we have this... Uh, half cylinder here with a few segments and hopefully I will be able to put some wooden texture on top of it. And yeah, let's see if I can add this to the game. Well, that looks to be absolutely hideous. And it looks to be inside out. Fail. Okay, the position seems to be not good. We need to move it further and also we need to scale this up more. And then we need to rotate this. Two thousand years later. Oh, come on, guys. Very good. Now it's facing the correct orientation. One eternity later. And now it's further back. Uh, ignore the fact that the edges look criminally horrible. At least the top part looks okay. So what shall we do with this? Uh, let's enlarge it. So the radius, the thing coming out from the center is 100 units. Let's try to make it 300. Yeah, that's more like it. That's something that is a bit bigger. And I think we don't need to have these many edges. We can just go with, or sides rather, we can just go with four, half of the octagon that I had in my mind. Let's move this further back and try to stretch it a bit out horizontally. Yeah, I guess I should go back to the original 8 division. Well, what do you know? This looks fairly okay. Yeah, I didn't stretch it yet. Let me try and stretch this horizontally so that it goes from wall to wall. Yeah, that looks shit. Totally shit. Fail! But at least it goes until the wall, and if I'm not mistaken, it goes even further than that. Yeah, now I can see what I made. 
I guess the height can be half of that, what I originally intended to have, and yeah, we can probably shrink this a bit. Yeah, that looks okay, I, I can work with that. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. And finally, we have some wooden sound. I guess we could scale back this texture so that it doesn't look like this. Yeah, that looks even worse on the side, but if you look at the top, then that's... Uh, yeah, maybe a bit, bit tiny. Let me... Let me fix that. Yeah, that looks better. And now we need to find what the entity is for the loot and create an entity instance from it and place it onto the map. The arcs folders goes as game graph object 3D interactive items and I guess movable and then we should have something like a loot loot let me just do a quick search we have a flute okay it's loot object 3D interactive Items special loot. Uh, that doesn't look really good. We, we are getting close. It needs a bit more rotation on the Y axis. I want it to face the dance floor a bit more. Well, it looks better. Hmm. Let's try a more drastic angle of 45 instead of 15 to see how it's rotating. Of course, it's not rotating on the correct axis. I don't know, guys. I will revert back to my previous version because I don't know how rotation works. Yeah, okay, I, I can live with this. I can accept this. I don't want to fiddle any more time. <laughs> you guys get it? Fiddle! Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck? The scaling seems to be out of proportion compared to the floorboarding. And also it's not on the stage. Alright, let me make adjustments to this. Yeah, that looks a bit better now. It seems to be on the stage now. Is that way too out? Yeah, probably. Okay, changed it again. Yeah, that's as much time as I'm willing to spend with that piece of loot over there. I might reconsider adding a different texture here than the built-in arcs texture because those nails look absolutely horrendous or maybe if i would rotate this 90 degrees so that the boards would go horizontal instead of vertical then it would improve the look but for now i think this is how far i will go with this okay and yeah this is how stuff looks for now, uh, yeah, we got a stage now. Probably I could raise it a tiny bit, because for now it's way too short. Yeah, let's do one tiny bit of adjustments. Let's raise this up a tiny bit and let's re-enable Fred's lighting calculation. Yeah, that's not very bad. You can still access the panels and it is actually higher if you stand up here. Oh no, we have the issue of polygons being way too large and you sink in between individual polygons and we need to subdivide these polygons here. Yeah, the polygons are way too big. Okay, I will get back to this later, but for today I will call this quits. I will upload this to GitHub, create a build for you guys, and I will place the link of the new release of this map into the description. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.